Hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, man? Welcome back to a new video. I hope you're doing fantastic. If you're brand new, be sure you subscribe and leave a like, bro. Today, we're reacting to Face Tico, man. You know what I'm saying? A new Face video, man. I just made a Face Rock reaction video. So if you if you haven't seen that, be sure you check that out, man. That was late. They moved back with Face Rock and his ex-girlfriend, Kaylin. But today, we're, what we're doing a Face Tico, man, because... There's a lot of things going on with face, so we're, we're gonna see what Tico is saying, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so without further ado, relax and uh, subscribe. And let's... Ooh, that's a nice setup, bro. We have a lot to talk about, but first. The cinematics, bro, it actually looks real good, like the editing and all that kind of stuff. Wow. That was like a freaking motorbike. Bro. <laughs> wow, that's got a really nice camera. I know it's been a while, um, but good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. We have a lot Thanks of time, baby. Let's we'll go. I've been working on this mouse pad for a very long time. I'm making some square ones too, extra large. This is like the size that I normally use, but I wanted Shit. to make like the table size one too because the artwork is so freaking sick. They look crazy good on your desk. Yeah. But I am making like a black, dark theme type of vibe too, so trust me. Bro, this is you should make like a psychedelic one, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the psychedelic visuals because that would look even better. The first sample that I made, so they will be better. Like I said, the final version will look slightly different. You're probably not going to notice a difference they'll just look better technically i don't have a date for you guys because i'm working on hoodies as well i want to re-release rugs but in bigger color hey phase rock baby shout out to phase rock there's bigger sizes new colors um i'm working on a lot of cool stuff i'm not gonna lie i've been putting in a lot of time into it effort into it money into it it has to be perfect okay no i don't know if my perfect. hair is crazy i haven't got a haircut in like three months it's early in the morning too come on i've barely had my coffee i don't want to drag this whole situation that's not the point of this at all but i have a few things i really do want to say obviously i posted a video the other day where i mean everyone that's watching this video probably saw the video this wasn't an easy thing for me to do and it wasn't something i wanted to do a few people called me out saying like no you're lazy you're not posting but the reason i stopped posting is because of this it's like you're expecting someone in the NBA to just show up and play because that's what he's been doing and his friends are playing in a team. So let's just come play. Like doesn't work like that anymore. I'm sorry, it doesn't. And I felt like if I keep posting videos, if I keep showing up, if I keep saying yes to the things they asked me for, if I keep just doing my thing, I will never get what I want and they will never do me right because why would they sort out a person that's already doing these things? I know you could also twist it and say, but if you worked more, you could have showed your worth. I know, but I was sick and tired of trying to do that. Wait, what are you talking about, bro? Okay, I can, I can explain this thing. I can talk and then explain it after, at the end. Do I still have to show like, my worth? Wait. Like I was disrespecting myself. Because I, I, I got a feeling some niggas don't know what you're talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a feeling it's going to... It's gonna, Tell us what he's talking about after he's done explaining. I hate that I took a step back. I hate that I walked away from the vlog. Like either you get it or you don't. And that's what I'm so happy to see because a lot of you guys really get it. And a lot of you guys are showing love and support. And I mean, way more than I thought. I'm not going to lie. This got way bigger than I ever expected. And the love that I've got, the messages, like so many real ones. There's so many real ones. Like it means the world to me. Like I cannot stress it enough. And I also saw some people that said, why didn't you say anything earlier? Why didn't you leave? I didn't leave because I wanted to fix it. Again, I love this brand. I've always just wanted to fix it. So now I guess the next question is like, am I in phase and what's going on? And as of right now, I really don't know. A lot of the comments are telling me to walk away, obviously. A lot of comments are telling me you don't need them. In the most respectful way, I know I don't need them. I know I don't need FaZe. I know some people are going to feel like it's very disrespectful of me to say this, but I mean it in the most respectful way, okay? I know I don't need FaZe. I 
do not need face. I can stand on my own two legs. Like I know that. I've been knowing that. I don't want to be that guy, but I've been knowing I can do this by myself. You've been knowing that. That's, that's never shit. been the issue where I've been scared of falling out with face. Like, oh no, what am I going to do? Not at all. It's simply the love for the brand and the people that I came up with that I wanted to stay and I wanted to sort this. That's the reason. It's always more fun to do this with the people, especially the people you came up with. Winning with your friends is way better than winning by yourself. Always. But it's never been about me doubting my own ability to do this solo. I'm not worried about that at all. I'll walk away today and I know I'll kill it. I'll know I'll be good. I've never been worried about that. And again, I'm using the most respectful you guys confident, way. Eh? I don't want some of the face people to feel like I'm disrespecting them because I know what they did for me. Tommy, Temper, you brought me into the New York face house before I really deserved it. You really put me on. Again, when I didn't have the numbers, I didn't have the subscribers, but you, I guess you saw something in me or you thought I was good enough to be around y'all. I just want to say I know what you did, okay? So I don't mean this. Like, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I know what you did for me. I know what you did for us, so many other people. Without Tommy, there wouldn't have been this. Like, he brought so many people together. So I don't want anyone to come at these people either. That's It's never been the point. I don't want you guys to hate. Even on Faze the brand, I don't want you to. I love this, okay? I cannot disrespect myself begging and begging and begging it's like i'm running after a cheating girlfriend who is doing me bad <laughs> and i'm trying to show my worth do you understand how fucked up that is it's been such a relief for me this entire week it's been such a like just to like let go of this you know like i've been holding on to such a grudge i've been holding on to such a bad negative feeling bad energy and like it does something to a person when you do that for a long time like if you're arguing with anyone like family member friends girlfriend boyfriend anyone that's close to you that you care about and you're arguing i'm not telling you to just forgive them if they disrespected you or did you dirty that's not what i'm saying but for you yourself don't hold on to some grudge don't hold on to this feeling of like i need closure or i want these guys to do me right or i want to feel like don't try mm. and not hold on to that you will literally just Word turn you into this God. mean irritated upset person carrying around all this bad energy snapping at people because you're holding on to something that yeah. someone else did and yeah, then you yeah. might just treat other people poorly try and just let it go never disrespect yourself okay don't let people shit on you that's not what i'm saying don't let what other people do to you it's difficult, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I hear what you're saying. It affect you too much. And I know that's not easy. I did it too. But that's why I know. I definitely I've been holding on to this grudge for years. But the thing is, some people would take your kindness for weakness. You know what I'm saying? That's why some niggas do, man. That's what some other people do. If you're kind, they take that for weakness. And boys, if you're still watching, be sure you subscribe. Please subscribe. Drop a like right now, baby. I love you. It's been fucking with me. It's not worth it, okay? Trying to move on. Put that energy towards yourself. Do your own thing. It feels really damn good that people know. Because maybe now the past few years makes a little bit more sense to you guys. Why things have been the way they have been and things haven't been the way they should have been. I just feel so damn good that I let that off my chest. I'm not going to lie. I just, I feel good. But shout out all the real ones that show love. Like it means so much. It means so fucking much, guys. I know this is not what you want to hear, but I really don't know what's going to happen. Okay. The only person I've talked to is Norton. It's the only one that I've talked to. We met up a couple of days ago, as you guys might have seen, and we have talked. But then again, he's in the same situation as I am. So like no one has really reached out to me or talked to me. It's just a very weird situation. So this is probably the last time that I'm going to talk about this for now. I'm not really worried about it or stressing about anything. Like I said, the most important thing for me was to let this out. And I, it's such a relief for me. I feel so fucking good about it. And the fact that you guys understand. So I'm just going to be doing my own thing, okay? I'm just going to go back to creating. I'm going to keep making vlogs, okay? You have my word this time. Trust me. I'm making a new vlog literally like this afternoon or tomorrow. We're back in this. You know what I'm saying? There's no more shit holding me back. There's nothing that I feel like I want to say. Like, I've said what I want to say now. I do have one more thing, though. Yes. Right. I really just have to give a special shout out to Ghost. As you guys know, I've been working with him. Oh, no. Are you both? For a little while. And when all this shit went down, they basically reached out and said, no matter what happens with FaZe or whatever, like, we got you covered. The people on the inside of Hey, man, I don't know about this weightlifting stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be stiff. But, guys, I'm going to, well, no, no, I'm going to end it there, man. I really hope you did enjoy. And if you did, be sure you leave a like, baby, and subscribe for, um, for more amazing content like this, man. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. Be sure you check out my other FaZe videos, man. I love you. I'll see you on the next video. Baby. Peace.